Hello, welcome to a first of an occasional series of Let's Cook, where we cook things simply and together. Except you're not here, but you know what I mean. First off, how to fry an egg. <laughs> yes, we're starting that simple. Uh, you buy eggs. Uh, you get some oil. Now, I've got rapeseed oil. I prefer rapeseed oil than uh, any other cooking oil, to be fair. Um, but you can use any cooking oil, vegetable oil, sunflower oil, nut oil, whatever you want. It doesn't really matter. So, but I just choose rapeseed oil and a frying pan. Now, this frying pan is a well-used frying pan and it's a non-stick frying pan, but it's still got all its non-stick in there. And that's because I don't use metal objects to move my food around in here. In fact, I use very little to move my food around in here, which I'm now going to demonstrate. So first thing you do is change your camera angle. Okay then, so got a frying pan, got the gas on, put the frying pan on the gas, pour oil into the frying pan. Now I put quite a bit of oil in, because again, it aids with the cooking. What you do is you warm up the oil. You do not make it go You just warm it up nice and slowly. And you get your eggs ready. Get your plate ready. Get your knife ready. Get your bat ready. Right, we are ready. So we'll move the oil around. You see it's flowing quite freely now, which means it's warming up nicely, but it's still not going because you don't need that, that's just rubbish. You get your egg. Crack your egg. And pop it in the frying pan, like so. And you'll see it will start to go white pretty quickly. But it's not going... I'm having two eggs, because I'm a greedy sod. Because we're in lockdown. It is lockdown, no matter what you say. And there we go. Then, you're not touching eggs again, so wash your hands. dry your hands. As you can see, the eggs are starting to go white, which is what we want. We want white eggs. What we don't want to do is cut, prod them around with a fork or anything daft like that. So in the meantime, while we're doing that, we won't move up to what are they called? Bats? Barms. J. Fletcher and Son Barms. See that? I hope to God the bins are emptied today. <laughs> right now it's getting, starting to fry a little bit. Now I like my eggs runny in the middle. I like my yolks to be runny. I'm not a person who likes their eggs to be uh, not runny. So turn it down a bit, we're a bit hot there. So we'll turn it down a little bit. And then all we do is just swizzle the pan around like that. And the fat goes onto the top and cooks the top of the egg as well. So we're not even put, we're not even touched the eggs yet, other than to break them to put them in the frying pan. You can see that or not, but they are. This is what makes your pan last longer as well. To be fair, they are done. Don't take long to cook an egg. You can cook an egg on a hot plate in the sun when it's summer. So I mean, you don't need to burn it to death. So, eggs done, power off. Still cook for a little bit. If you want them, you know, if you want them hard in, in, rather than a runny yolk, I don't really see the point, but if you do, well, you can always flip them over, or you can do that and just use a, a little bit to make that egg go white on top so you know it's fully cooked. So there you go, there's one egg. Just going to put drain the fat off it. Put it on the uh, barn cake. Now you can add tomato sauce or brown sauce or whatever you want. You can even add bacon to it if you wanted to. 
um, but I'm just going to have it as is. Hold on up. Get that little bit out. And then the oil, you can save. Again, it doesn't go off. So you just put a lid on it, stop anything going into it. Put it to one side, and that's ready for next time. And there you go. You've got yourself two egg bomb cakes. Nom, nom, nom. So there you go then. Perfect, perfect egg butties with a runny yolk. So when you when you bite into it, the yolk runs out. Yummy, 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 yummy. Mmm. So if you want some more cooking tips, subscribe, like the video, and we'll get on and do some more. Till next time. Be seeing you.